And we are back. This is The Walking Dead, Dead City, Season 1, Episode 1. <sighs> this is the first of the three spin-offs we have coming, along with The Daryl Show and The Rashon spin-off. I'm gonna be honest, I had mixed feelings about this when they announced it. On one hand, I'm excited because Maggie's my favorite. But I didn't know what they were gonna do with it, like, so... But... I've heard very, very, very good things about it. Like, really good things. I've seen the opening credits and those are really good. So... If the first episode really is that good, maybe the whole show will be? So yeah, um... Let's just see what happens. Hi, Queen. It's been like half a year, but I've missed you. Hello, Manhattan. I'm actually really excited for them to be in Manhattan during the apocalypse. I think it's gonna be really cool. Oh. Nope. Come on, Queen, come on, Queen. Why do I feel like Megan's just gonna come in any second? Or not. She is pissed. Fuck off, bitch. Hold her still. Fuck you. I reckon you're gonna have trouble sniffing around after this. Mm -hmm. Ew. Oh, what the fuck? Ew. That was iconic. I stand a fucking queen. Why oh, she's my favorite? Hello, Megan. I was wondering when you were gonna show up. Oh. Sorry, Pat, you're better on your feet. Good to see you too. It's been a while. Who is this? Hostages collateral. Herschel. They took your kid. Yep. I tracked them all the way up the Hudson, but then they'd already made it across. Across the what? The city. Manhattan. Mm-hmm. The man who's got Herschel. They call him the Croat. The Croat. Bullshit. You know him. Who's the Croat? Oh. And he scaled our walls. Had us surrounded in the dark. How does Negan know the Croat? Right before he took my son. Do you know what he did? The whistle. That rings a bell, doesn't it? It did for me. The last thing I heard before I met you. So what, is he like the OG savior or something? Oh. oh. Did the Croat do that? I don't think so, because I think the, the Croat is in Manhattan. Have you seen this man? So these guys work for the Croat? goes by the name of Negan. Oh, folks. And he bashed in a man's head with a baseball bat. Don't remind me. In front of the man's pregnant wife. Please don't remind me. Tranquility So I haven't recovered from that. Oh. Damn, this guy seems ruthless. I can only imagine what this Croat is like. That is so rude. I did not need to see that again. It's been years and I still have it. Nope. No. No. 
closer we see. Oh, I think it's Marshall. That was so rude. Yeah, I am on a need to know basis, I guess. That's I'm cool. actually kind of loving this song. You don't trust me. Like, it gives me vibes no. of the main show, but it feels fresh. And I, I love it. You don't trust me either. You see, I got what I wanted. Jenny is safe. She is comfortable. I could kill you right now. Uh, no. Looked after me when I was little. I'm all she has left. Oh, that's kind of sweet. You can try again on our heartstrings. I wonder if we'll, toss I wonder if we'll meet the girl at this episode. Coming to the party. Maybe at the hey. end. <laughs> You know, you have been sticking it to me in infinite little ways since the second we hooked up. Don't think I haven't noticed. And I get how having Herschel taken has you spinning out. Stir up emotions up, and memories, all they sorts of shit. Had a little the vengeful thoughts and that I, I thought you had put to bed. Clearly, you have woken the hell up. But what I don't get is after all these years, you still think I'm the bad guy. I'm not. No one is. Well, you know what, Maggie? Maybe everyone is. Ask yourself one question. How many husbands and fathers have you killed? What you did, you don't ever put something like that to bed. I mean, I agree. Oh, love that shot. This guy might actually be like, oh. never mind. I was gonna say maybe he might end up being like an ally or a new friend because he just seems in over his head. But <laughs> if you try that again, you are gonna wish he threw you off that boat. Walkers. This way. Seriously, walkers are falling from the sky now. Oh, I thought someone threw them off they the building. They must have heard us. Yeah, I'd be freaking out. Oh hell no. Oh, hell no. Fuck that. Nope. Same. I would be running out of there. My name is Pearly Armstrong. Congratulations. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I like a good hog stew. Congratulations. Just want to give you a sense of what kind of people I am. Okay. I'm not your enemy. You sure? <laughs> Ew. Oh, oh, what the? Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, that was gross. Get his ass, Maggie. Come on, Queen. Nope. Mm. God, I love that. My son, I need him to save my son. Huh? He doesn't give a fuck. Is 
this guy? Oh, dude. Twenty stories. <laughs> oh, this guy is no. This guy is crazy. And yet, I pushed it. You're creepy. I don't like you. Huh. Okay, honestly, that was really fucking good. I didn't expect to li like, I had a feeling I was gonna like it, but I didn't think I'd love it this much. Okay, it gave me vibes of the main show, but at the same time it felt fresh and new. And that's what I loved about it. That was way better than I was expecting. It was just, oh my god, it was so good. So we met the Croat, who was our villain for the season. He's... I don't like him, he's creepy. And he has Herschel. And he wants Negan. I love seeing Maggie again. It's been like half a year since November, but I saw Alex Sear again. It was cool seeing Negan again too. I wonder what happened with Annie and their kid. Like I don't even think we, like she was asking him, I think he was dodging it. He didn't, I don't think he actually told us what happened with them. So I need answers. Cause I'm pretty sure it's been like, I think I said it three years since the finale of The Walking Dead. One thing I love about this episode so far is the budget. Like you could tell they have a bigger budget because less episode episodes means bigger budget and you can tell it shows. That's why part of me is kind of happy that the spinoffs are only six episodes for a season. More budget. But yeah, honestly, I was really intrigued so far. Makes me kind of, that's why it makes me kind of sad that it's only six, because if it's going to be this good. But at the same time, six means it won't be dragged out, so that's good. But I'm fully expecting this season to end on a cliffhanger, because I'm pretty sure all spinoffs are getting at least a second season. This definitely is. I'm pretty sure I heard, I, I could swear I read they want to make this like a three or four season thing. Two? Yes. Three? Maybe. I don't know about four, though. The Daryl Show, I think, is definitely getting a season two. I don't think it'll go beyond that. Rashawn spinoff, I think, will get a season two. I don't know if it, I don't think it'll go beyond that because the Rashawn spinoff is where we're getting the CRM stuff. And unless the episodes of that first season are really long, I don't see them wrapping up, up, up something as big as the CRM in six episodes. If it'll even be wrapped up in that show, because the Rashawn spinoff, I'm pretty sure, is like, yeah, we're gonna get a lot of CRM stuff. But it's, more, it's mainly going to be more about like Rick and Michonne reuniting, getting it back to their families. So that's if CRM even gets wrapped up on there. I don't even know how they'll wrap up that, because from what we saw in World Beyond, they're fucking huge. So I don't know if it'll get wrapped up there, but let's focus on that when we get there. Who knows, we might get CRM stuff on here, but I, I don't think so. I don't think we'll get CRM stuff on here. The Daryl spinoff, maybe, because he is looking for Rick. And I think we might get some variant stuff, because we got some variant stuff um, at the end of World Beyond with the tease, and then a little bit in season 11. So I think we're definitely going to get some variants in all these spinoffs. Running walkers, smart walkers. I'm excited and scared. Hmm. We got some new characters. We got Jenny. I, I can't really say my opinion on her. We, haven't, we, didn't, we didn't see too much of her this episode, so I can't really... I don't have an opinion, but I'm pretty sure we'll see more of her, so... I'll, I guess I'll wait. After. I don't have much of an opinion right now, like I said. Um... 
I just really love the vibe, the premise, and the setting of Manhattan. I just love it. I didn't expect to love it this much, as much as I did. And the Croat seems like a terrifying villain. Like, he's fucking creepy. Like, even Negan himself said that he was a psychopath. I was like, I was fully expecting him to be creepy and psychotic, but not that creepy. <laughs> and he, at the end, he was like, <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm fully expecting him to die by the finale, probably in the finale, because I'm fully, I'm fully expecting a cliffhanger. As for what, I have no fucking clue. And I'm wondering when we're going to rescue Herschel, because we know Herschel, is alive. Well, obviously he's alive, but we got the confirmation at the end. So I feel like we're not going to, I feel like we're going to rescue him maybe like halfway into the season or on episode three. Because they're going to run into the Croat next episode. So maybe episode three? Maybe four. I don't know. And oh my god, the flashbacks to the lineup in Glenn's death. That was so fucking rude. I did not need to see that. <laughs> and then the one dude. I thought the one dude was gonna end up being like a potential ally when he was talking about his grandmother. I was like, aww. But then, <laughs> then he kept trying to run, and then he got and then he got shot. I was like, oh. I take it back. I'll admit, when they first announced all these spinoffs, I was hesitant, except the Rashawn one. I'm I'm so hyped for that one. But I'm actually really happy about this one. It's really good so far. I'll give, It makes me want to give the Daryl one even more of a chance. Because right now, I guess I'm kind of indifferent. Like, yeah, of course I'll watch. And part of me is a little excited. But I'm like, it's the one that I'm least hyped for. But if Dead City, one episode in, is this good. Then I'll wait to judge the Daryl one. Because who knows? That could end up being the best one. I doubt it, but. I think the Rashawn one's going to be the best one, obviously. But who knows? It'll probably end, it'll probably end still end up being good. So we'll see. But anyway, it is The Walking Dead, Dead City, Season 1, Episode 1. Overall, really, really good, strong premiere. If Honestly, if they keep up this momentum and this quality for all six episodes, this could be arguably their best spinoff. Because Roll Beyond was okay. First season was very, very flawed. Season 2 was much better. Roll Beyond, though, would have benefited from a third season. Because season 2, while it was a vast improvement, it was rushed. So they would have benefited from third And Fear? I'm not going to get into that. Fear is fear. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I'm very excited to see where the story goes from here. I want the Croat to die because he's creepy. But anyway, that is it for now. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this premiere, what you all thought overall, and what your theories are for next episode. And I will see you guys next time.